Would you believe me if I told you we burnt through 15 cords of wood this winter and we're the first of February? Well, you better believe it, because that's what happened. Yeah, <laughs> so. and if we don't want to freeze to death, we need fire. Yeah. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me all what I desire. See clearly now, the snow is gone. <laughs> I don't mind if you don't work. If you're with me, I'm happy. Okay. It's getting hot pretty quick. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> yeah, a long wouldn't be fun right now. <laughs> Last year we had a very mild winter and we were, I think at this point where we didn't have any more wood by, I think it was like April. I know we're the first of February, so uh, it's definitely a big shock in temperature this year. We burned through a lot more wood. We did have a lot more soft wood though this year, so I guess it burnt a little faster. But you know, that's what we had in the forest and that's what was down, and so we decided to burn it anyways. We knew that there was a risk that we might run out, so. This is the last of the hay bales that we have. Everything is all loaded and ready to go on the trailer. We're gonna go bring that to where Copper is. We sold 15 hay bales to them. So that'll give us a little break from boarding fees for a month. <laughs> so Ben does go out and harvest all the firewood with the skitter. And uh, he goes all the way out in the forest, all the way out there. All summer he does that. And we got a little extra in the shed, which is really nice. So it's like a little backup. We can only fit 15 to 16 cords of wood in our basement. Change of plans. What? What time is it? Uh, almost three o'clock, I think. Is it chicken time? Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is. It is chicken time. So I have to go make chicken. So I've been trying to be a good wife, and I was like, I'm going to try to surprise Ben. You know, on Sunday he was out with his friends, and I was like, I had the girls, and I was like, I'm going to go get some firewood and surprise him, right? And then I just ended up having such a hard time with the kids. It was just too much energy. And so I had to preserve the energy to be able to function correctly. And so I didn't do it. And so I'm like, all right, Ben, let's go to the fire. Well, he's like, okay, Mallory, let's go to the firewood today together. And we had just filmed a nice bend corner. We're not done, but that's coming for you guys pretty oh, yeah, soon. It is. On Amanita muscaria. And it's a higher production than we usually do. So it took a little bit more time. And so we're finally out here. And I'm finally here to help him. And he's like, we need to cook the chicken for dinner. <laughs> Kind of a weird special feature, but we wanted to share with you guys that, yeah, it's been really cold this winter and we've burnt a lot of wood, so. Yeah, the whole thing almost. Yeah. There's only two cords remaining. We have garage firewood, which is a soft wood like uh, spruce and fir, which is not the best thing, but it's what we have right now and it's going to produce heat, so let's use it. Oh, yeah. Use what you got. <clears throat> All right, Ben. I'll go cook some dinner. <laughs> that was bye the update. Bye. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. How are you? I hope you guys like that little clip. I figured I would add that in there. And you guys tell me if you hear me okay, if you see me good, if everything's good. Please. <laughs> and I'm kind of far away from the mic, so... Tell me if you hear me properly too. Yeah, so I got a new um, a new cord for my mic because it wasn't working very well, and we couldn't hear Ben very well in the last live stream. So he's got his Canada hat. <laughs> oh, <Au> le chapeau! <laughs> All right, hey guys, hey Jack, mindful homestead. Hi Fox, hi Will, drive safe. Yes, be careful. <laughs> Alfredo, I see Rosalie. 
cookie pie okay so everything's good you hear me good awesome thank you so much hey evan all good he says right on all right so yeah I, as you guys saw probably in today's video we're gonna be do switching up the content and having a little bit of fun with it and we're really really excited to to be doing this for you guys and it's i think it's going to be a really fun project because ben really likes to like uh play what is it uh, dungeon and dragons and having all these characters and stuff like that so i think including that inside the videos will be will add a great dynamic and uh it'll bring us a little bit more together too yeah because, I mean, filming the vlogs and the farm and stuff, I mean, it's it's all great. I love doing those, too, and I'm not going to stop doing them. But I think, like, we have these wigs, and we have these, uh, like, he's got a mustache. And then I have this mic, which I'm going to hide this logo thing because it really, I, I don't like. It looks tacky, I think. And so I'm going to be a reporter with my wig and, uh, you know, have, like, weather reports. And it's just going to be r randomly funny. And I think, you know, it's going to be homestead updates, right? So instead of presenting them as a vlog, like a cinematic vlog, these ones will be highly produced. And you guys see we do have a green screen in back of us. And so this is going to be our set. And uh, so on Ben's... What, what's this? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> you can show them, actually. He made that. It's really cool. Well, <laughs> right now it looks like a dick, but... Oh, come on. Well... It does. It come does. on. We sort of have a theme on our channel, I guess. He made this um, mortar and, and pistol. Pestle, yeah. Pestle. And... Uh, he made it all from from this piece of wood that he found that had a big knot in it. And so he made this and this is what we make all our teas with. And so he made a little hole and it sets in here just great. <laughs> yeah, I always do rough stuff, but I like that. Yeah, he makes like walking sticks and a whole bunch of stuff. He's been getting into woodworking. So it's really nice. Oh, hi, Marilyn. Also for Ben. Awesome. Great. So you guys hear him perfectly. Hey, Rams. Well, hello, Carol. See, hello, and Ben. So, all right, Ben is here, but he's on this on this sucky chair. And I've been trying to save up some money to get a chair like this for him. I offered him to have the chair for his back, but he's like, no, you're the star. You should have the chair. Yeah, you need to shine. <laughs> but I would really like to get him a chair, one of these ones, because they're really, really comfortable. And we've been spending a lot of time in this studio space to produce these uh, th this video that we're working on, on Amanita Muscaria. And uh, just to give you a little a little teaser about it, he's going to be telling stories about his personal experience with it, and <laughs> and uh, medicinally, and uh, how would he say it? spiritually, and uh, yeah, and just like a whole bunch of really cool information about it. Which it's a whole bunch of people think that it's a crazy, scary mushroom, but it is. Don't get me wrong, it is, but you have to know how to use it. And so he's going to provide a whole bunch of information on it. Yeah. That is what it looks like. <laughs> All right. Hey, Steve Mato. Hi, Mallory and Ben. Hear you loud and clear. Right cool, on. Perfect. I say we get him a, to dance live. I mean, <laughs> like you, add the music. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, you know, it's funny because I was trying, somebody was telling me, Mallory, you do these live streams and you should, you should do something special. Like if you get a super chat or something. And I was like, yeah, I got to think about that. So if you guys have any ideas of things that I could add, uh, in the stream to make it better. Of course, all super chats or all donations go into bettering the channel and the and these live streams. One day, I'd like to have a proper live stream uh, program and stuff like that. It's just now we spent a whole bunch of money on props and costumes. <laughs> now that I've seen the the drone in the snowstorm, I wish we had that. Oh yeah, I know. Russell <laughs> Russell from Raspberry Rock, he flew his drone out in a in a crazy snowstorm and I could never do that with my little mini drone. Like I would it would pr probably just fall from the sky. <laughs> I wouldn't even fly an helicopter in this. No. <laughs> hey guys, here you fine. Hey Broken Wolf. Evening, Ian and the Weblord. 
Karine Lamoureux, good evening to both of you. What a hat, loving it. <laughs> Bonjour, Karine. All right, so what have you guys been up to? Let's see, I'm going to try to scroll down here. Just turn the dead cat foamy inside out. Oh, can I do that? Let me see. I'm going to try this. Oh, no, it doesn't look good at all. See, <laughs> it, it does not look good. It's a tiny little. I'm gonna, path. I'm gonna paint it. <laughs> I'm gonna paint it probably. Uh, all right, I'm good. The snow is nothing scary for me. I grew up in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cause he got some snow. I just watched his. I just watched two of his videos before going live. I, I had to catch up a little bit. I did that awesome, by the way. I left a comment starting tomorrow. There you go. See, she she also saw it. Wild and wonderful homestead. Hello. How are you? A great logo. I love that. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Carol, twice in a day. Yeah, twice in a day. <laughs> I went live. Uh, I went live earlier just to test out my mic because we were having some technical difficulties. So, <laughs> our sermon is supposed to continue through Thursday, Grace, but I don't expect too much from it, honestly. Yeah, we're well, in New Mexico. That, are you kidding me? For Ben's new chair, no complaints either. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you're amazing cliff thank you so much for bless that bless you wow bless you totally shalom so good to see you again love your videos and the live sessions are always great fun best wishes to all thank you john thank you delis hey mallory and ben was it warm enough for the bees to be flying up in momangi today oh no way no way they might have uh, taken a little, uh, how do they call it, cleaning flight, you know, where they, they toss out the dead. I haven't but checked on I them. I haven't checked on them because I don't want to walk on the snow around it because it will freeze more. Yeah, but they're, they're not really covered in snow, though, at all. I checked them. You see yeah. them from afar. That's but... the thing. That's why we don't have uh, <laughs> firewood anymore because there's not enough snow to insulate the bottom of the house. So it might be the same problem for the bees. Yeah. It's, it's a bad winter. It's cold and not enough snow. Yeah. Hello, Ben's Corner sounds like a trip. Oh, my gosh. You guys are going to trip. Dave, you are totally going to trip. Ben's been working really hard. And we even got like a teleprompter on my screen with a script and everything. We worked really, really hard on it. And so I'm really excited to, to put it all together once we're done filming all the segments. And uh, we're going to you guys are going to see wise ass Ben yeah his character <laughs> and so he's got his costume and you're gonna see who else is the character that you're gonna see in there then the druid yeah the druid so he's trying to figure out a costume for that one that one isn't filmed yet and then we're also gonna see probably drill sergeant ben oh yeah probably yeah giving a little shit <laughs> be careful <laughs> your language <laughs> oh, can we get what can what's the words that demonetization happen? Because I say... Oh, I'm not even monetized. I don't even monetize these streams. Because I say poo? Yes. I think so. Poo -poo. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Hickory Got Farms. Nice to see you. Bye contest. Hello. All right. Yeah, thank you so much for that, Cliff. <laughs> Mark Campbell. Hi, Mallory and Ben. Hey. I have 20 people watching. If you guys can hit that thumbs up, that would be awesome. I can take this scroller off here. Let me see this banner. Let me go. Boop. Take that off. I have no clue what you just said. Oh, because there's a banner right here. See, it goes left and right. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to hit that bell for all notifications. There you go. All right. So I'm going to come back to the comments. Sorry, guys. So Ben is really uh, getting used to these live streams and he's been, even when I've been watching these, a, a few live streams, he's been coming into the chat and interacting. And I think his name, if you guys see him around in there, his name is Ben. Something really cool. Something really cool. That's his name. <laughs> well, it's because of Russell. He found it. Yeah, because he had, his name was Quebec Homestead Ben, but he's like, oh, I keep on getting mixed up with Quebec Homestead and Ben. And he's like, you should name yourself Ben something like, I don't know, something really cool. And so, <laughs> so I just, jumped on it and I took it. He just did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are enjoying snow, some melt here today, but there is more snow on the way. Yeah, definitely. Uh, here, I think March, February and March are like really big uh, snow months. And we've got uh, another project on the way. Uh, you guys remember I built a, we built a Quincy last year in March? 
Well, Ben has been pushing up some snow on a mountain so that we can mm -hmm. build it, another one. It won't be a Quincy with big palace. <laughs> Kings and queens. Oh, yeah, so it'll definitely fit the whole family in this one. And it's on a on a better surface. And so we're going to put like a little snow pit and, uh, and, you know, have something a little bit better than we used to. So Erlen Permaculture and Preparedness. Oh, you changed your name. Hey, thanks for being here. <laughs> Mallory, you have to sing something. I heard you at your wedding and you sound awesome. Oh, thank you, Steve. I, uh, once I get this ins insulated a little bit more, maybe I could start singing and, you know, I really have to close this section off just a little bit more to insulate it because my kids are sleeping on the other side of this wall and Ben's, well, we sleep on the other side of this wall right here. Yeah. So, and, and we don't want to wake Jude. She can become grumpy, you know? Yeah. Jude's like the little grumpy child when she wakes up. And so <laughs> we do not want that to happen. <laughs> And plus, like, right now, my nose is a little... Oh, yeah, hot. We had three degrees today here, and there were a few flying. Going to post a video later. Some girls were even picking out the inner... Co oh, nice. That is so cool. Yeah, when I'm going to have to go check on them tomorrow. It's supposed to be, like, one or two degrees Celsius tomorrow. So I might, I might just go check on them tomorrow. I wasn't home today, and uh, I, was, I was all over the place. So I'm trying to get this, uh, everything set up here. Here, but on a phone call. Okay, no problem, Angie. <laughs> we were on her stream yesterday. Hey, Mel. Hi, Ben. I dig the hat. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> How do you dig the, the background in the studio? Mm. In the 50s here, the rest of the week. Oh, yeah. It's been warm everywhere. That's nice. I like the lights. Yeah, see, I really like them. Uh, it, well, it's actually a, uh, it's actually green screen. <laughs> <laughs> so here, let me let me show you guys real quick. Here, move just a little bit to the side. So this is uh, this is the Ben's corner for now, and then we're gonna have the news station here and then and, you know, on the green screen we're gonna have like a whole bunch of stuff so we're gonna be able to play around a lot with it so i'm really really excited <laughs> the clock what's the clock i felt like looking back but I, I won't see it what clock what's you talking about do you see a clock oh you mean the the gears oh yeah <laughs> Oh, thank you, Will. All right. So um, do, 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 what are you guys up to tonight? Let you guys tell me what you guys are up to. We literally were like, oh, it's the first Wednesday of the month. And we I had such a big day. And Ben did the, the snow and then we did the firewood. Your hat's like a little weird. Well, I like weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys like seeing Ben in the live streams? <laughs> I'm really excited that he's here. It's yeah, really it's fun. Cool. It's nice. So I have a few clips, actually. I have a clip of uh, I went out to see my horse and we went on a big ride uh, on our first ride. And I get I, I can show you guys that in just a little bit. I have what else do I have as a clip to show you guys? Oh, if Russell's here, I actually have a congratulations for his 50,000 subscribers video. And we also are at day 20 Tomorrow, of yeah. our push-up challenge and ben at day 15 was able to finish the whole thing the whole song so i do have a clip of that too that i can show you guys so you guys let me know which one you want you want to see first you want to see the horse ride do you want to see the push-ups or do you want to see what else did i say that we had oh yeah i gotta wait for russell for that one <laughs> mm. Have you considered putting the bead inside a makeshift greenhouse, the bees inside a makeshift greenhouse with a perfect, perfect flowering plant so they have something to pollinate? Um, you know, we were actually thinking about that with our Four Seasons greenhouse the day that we get it done because, man, it's everything's taking forever. Like going out in the woods is so hard these days. There's so much snow. Yeah. 
but it's going to be annexed to the house. <laughs> and there's an, there's another, you know, obstacle to doing this. The, the honey that they will produce might be, you know, they call it mad honey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when, when bees goes to flowers that are poison or psychoactive, they produce some kind of weird honey, and we don't want that honey in our kids' cereal, I promise you. Yeah, yeah, that's true, because Ben has, like, this really big passion of, on, on these plants, and here, get that book. So he's going to be talking about, like like I said, the Amanita muscaria, but we don't grow that. But he grows a whole bunch of other psychoactive plants. We don't grow that because we <clears throat> cannot grow that. It's symbiotic to actual trees. Yeah. So we would need the trees to grow it. So, yeah, that would be definitely the problem in our greenhouse because, uh, like, right next to us, we have the big interior garden with all those plants, and they're all medicinal. There's a whole bunch of them. This might show up weird because there's green on it. But this is the Encyclopedia of Psychoactive Plants, and it's a it's a pretty big one. He's got a few of these books, and uh, and a few of these plants. Yeah, and a few of these plants. Yeah, definitely. Um, he's really getting into I, it. I, I make a fixation on uh, spiritual use of those plants around the world, and uh, it's fascinating <clears throat> how many cultures see it differently. Yeah, we see it as poison and drugs, but many places they see it as uh, sacraments and medicine. Yeah, yeah, totally. Hey, David, nice to see you. Oh, Harvey, you're making some beef brown broth right now. Nice. I made a uh, well, Thank you. <laughs> as you guys saw in the intro video, uh, we were just I was just getting ready to go help him with the firewood. And he's like, hey, we need to cook that chicken that's in the fridge. And so I cooked that and then I made a really nice rich bone broth with that overnight and uh, I can't wait to make a nice soup with that probably gonna make some pumpkin soup tomorrow or something like that and we have these delicata squashes that we actually made a soup with and it is to die for mm. it is so good so that was a new thing this year the delicata squash that kind of sweet and a little spicy by itself it's it's amazing mm-hmm I'm glad Ben is joining the live streams more thank you Grace I'm glad too yeah, it's fun. I didn't get the music. I didn't have time to set up the music. I, I literally like edited the the little video that I had in the beginning, like the hour before I got on here. So, well, the hour during <laughs> before. Anyways, you know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's okay. I think that what you are doing regarding your channel and studio is very cool. I can't wait to see your ideas. Thank you, Tim. I can't wait to show you guys. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so there is a there is a segment in there that Ben was like he had a really good idea. He's like you should have like a weather report when we do those videos, and so we're gonna have a weather report, a traffic report, and it's all gonna be really funny and humoristic. And uh, yeah, I'm... And, and it's gonna be sexy. Oh yeah, he wanted me to to be like one of those Mexican. Um... Have you ever seen weather forecasts in Mexican country? <laughs> You kind of want to know <coughs> what's the weather going to be. And you kind of stick to that channel a little more to see what tomorrow is going to bring. <laughs> so the, <laughs> the man and his ideas, well, I think they're good ideas too. So I'm, I'm probably going to do that for like a few times here and there. Get a wig and a dress and then like show. I don't know if I'm going to have an accent yet, but I'm going to try to get into character and, and play with this. I think it's going to be really fun. It's okay if you don't have an <clears throat> accent. You are a real Mexican, so. I'm I'm a quarter Mexican, well, so. It counts. <laughs> you guys are a wealth of info. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, we figured, you know, since the gardens are going to be a little bit slowed down this year and, you know, the animals are gone, um, you know, we've... We just figured we'd, we'd do something a little bit more. And Ben gave me six months to see uh, an incline. So I'm going to have six months working 30 hours a week on this channel <clears throat> to see if we can get somewhere with it. Because it's been it's been a steady, steady incline, right? Uh, you know, the channel on subscribers, the views are like this. And so if I want to be able to make a decent living and, you know, help pay off our car <laughs> that we just got and stuff like that and help around, um, I think, you know, it'd be really cool. So Master Vanilla. Hey, keep friendship. Keep friendship. Yes. Keep friendship. 
<laughs> Harvey says psychoactive honey. Yeah, but you cannot guess what what it would be because it's a mix of different compounds. So it can be psychoactive, but it can be deadly and can it can do you know yeah and and they they process it a lot you know they digest it and they vomit it and that's honey that we eat you know but but the compound the constituents are going to be modified so it yeah i guess if we stick to one plant it could be psychoactive and you know we could know what we're ingesting. Yeah. But there's way <clears throat> too many kinds of plants here to know what it's going to do. And it's very important to know, to, to say also psychoactive is not the same thing as psychedelic. Because I know some people are about probably being like, oh my gosh, they're, you know, they're, they're consuming psychedelic stuff, but that's not what it is. Psychoactive, like coffee is psychoactive. Uh, what else is psychoactive that's really common? That nicotine nicotine is aspirin. Psycho- yeah aspirin so you know it's it's not it's not like a a, a drug use like that that's not why we consume what we consume it's really uh... we, we do have a <clears throat> plan that can do hard psychedelic stuff but we're collecting them you know as a as a collection yeah we're not a... we're not doing this for uh consumption yeah today we... i transplanted 10 10 sacred peyote you know, love for Fora, William C. But those things take years to grow for one dose. It's just a pretty cactus with sacredness in it. And beautiful flowers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking about psychoactive plants. I'm talking something more like eggplants and snapdragon, something that produces a lot of pollen, heavy flower. I heard the artichoke is a big one. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, totally. Um, But we would have to have a heated greenhouse, I think, because... And we would have to, to, to build... Two greenhouses, and we we are having difficulties building, building our one. one. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but yeah, it would be amazing, you know. It would be cool, and it would be really awesome to document that and oh, stuff, yeah. and keep them up all winter. I and wish, like, I wish we could do this one day. Yeah, it would be nice, but like the reality here is that heating a greenhouse with the cold that we have here, it would just be so like, just almost impossible. <laughs> Off the hook outdoors. I love your name. Hey guys, congrats on the wedding. That was a great video. Here's to a happy life together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're trying. We're yeah. trying. <laughs> how did you how did you meet need up where you and Ben living and deciding to homestead? Pam and I love your channel. Thank you. How did you need up? How did you end up, I guess? End up aware. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so we we built a homestead in Saint Raymond, uh, where Thorhaven Farm lives, actually. And we met him after the fact, but he was we were close to the military base, right? In Valcartier. I got retired from injuries back in Afghanistan and I had plenty of time and she wanted horses at home. So that's how I got into homesteading. Yeah. Just because it was a beautiful challenge to build that so yeah so we built that homestead from the ground up without any electricity running water for six months Uh, we didn't have any kids at the time we built it all on the generator and so we had um the the whole exterior uh delivered and constructed we did all the interior and then we built the the barn which was well ben pretty much did it on his own because i was working full time at that time at that time and uh So when we were done and it was turnkey ready and the kids were born, Ben got liberated from from the army. And we bought a little four wheeler and we're like, oh, let's just go have a little ride on the on the property. And we had five and a half acres at that homestead. And we quickly realized that it was too small for what we wanted. We wanted to have wide areas somewhere where we could almost get lost in, you know. And I could get lost here. Ben couldn't, but I could. <laughs> well, I did walk those 200 acres many, many, many times because I snowshoe a lot. Yeah. And I mean, I, I lumber, I log on it and I work on it. So, but yeah, yeah, someone that's never been there could get lost. And it's it's a lot of valleys in between mountains. So sometimes it's not easy to figure out where you are even in the winter time it's a little it's a little bit more challenging for me because there's no really trails anywhere so when you're snowshoeing in there it's literally you're going through the wild and we are really in the wilderness here so 
it, yeah, it, you can follow your tracks back. I mean, that's, a, you know, it's easy for, for me to find my way back because I just turn around and I follow my tracks, tracks back. But, you know, like figuring out where I want to go on the, on the property by myself is a little bit more challenging. Plus, I'm, I'm scared. I'm a scaredy cat. Like, I'll go in the woods by myself and I'll hear something. and I'll be like, I'll hear a squirrel and I'll be like... <gasps> was it a bear? Like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so bad with that. Like ever since I have kids, I am such a scaredy cat. <laughs> you will, I guess you will <clears throat> never see a bear. I know. Just because you need to be very quiet to see bears and they are scared of us. I know. When I... you, when you sit there to hunt and don't, you know, make noises and everything, you can see bears, but snowshoeing in the winter <laughs> i don't think so just so for the record i'm seven minutes late on the chat so if i don't get you right away don't worry i'm i'm trying to catch up we're doing that thing where we we're way back in the comments yeah we're seven minutes behind hey foreign man nice to see you indonesian vanilla planters Ooh. that's cool yeah there you go. There's the truck rally for Freedom Drive. Harvey's been pushing hard on that and supporting. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, end up where we're living. Okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. Evening, Denise Snyder. Thanks for being here. Greenwich Homestead. Hello. I finally caught a live. Thanks uh, for being here. Sorry, I'm so late on, on answering. Cool name. Yeah. Hello, everyone. That is saying hello to me in the chat. I'm typing through a phone. And yeah, on the phone, it's not easy to tag everybody. Oh, my God. Totally understand. I know. I'm discovering this. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm always on the chat with my phone. And I'm like, Ben, you're very late. What you say doesn't doesn't mean anything now. And I'm like, what? <sighs> yeah. Oh, my gosh, Alfredo. I'm so sorry you have COVID. Oh, my gosh. Everybody around me here has been, has been dropping like flies. Well, not dropping like dead, but... I mean, they've been they've been contracting the virus, and even I like have a sore throat. And we've been testing my daughter all week because you know she has to go to school. But yeah, we got another little cold, so I'm we're trying to trying to push through this one. It's not as hard as the other cold that I had. I've, I could have sworn like I went three times to the to the doctor's office because I was having a hard time, and they did not test me once for COVID when I was that sick. And I was like, what? So I don't know why that just never happened. As I said, next time I go see a doctor, an ambulance will bring me. I'm tired of getting told, well, uh, maybe you come back in a week and we see how bad it is. Yeah, right. Yeah. <clears throat> I think couples doing a live chat adds an extra layer of being personal to the show. Thank you, Carol. Yeah, I think so, too. I think so, too, because, you know, like you guys see me a lot by myself, but then you see like how we interact together yeah. and yeah it does it really does i felt my shyness away and i won yeah yeah you literally pushed through can yeah. i have one of those beers please? yeah you sure can it's beer time it's beer time <laughs> in a boot yes my boot i'm gonna try not to spill any of this <laughs> German way of taking a beer. When I was there. <laughs> Oops. Oh, it's so foamy. Come on. Look how foamy it is. Oh, oh my gosh, Ben, all over my chair. <laughs> oh, it doesn't fit a whole one in there. No. Okay. As I was saying, when, when I was there, they had those huge boots. I'm going to wipe this Kind of cool. Yeah, they're really, really big boots. I had a little too many of those boots. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's the link to my wedding. Thank you. You will cry. Aw. Nah, it's not that beautiful. I guess. <laughs> yes, we need something to wipe. Huh? Yeah. Go get something. Yeah. Hmm. Would I like do. good out of body experience. Yeah, Dave. Oh yeah, that'll do. Dave, Thank you. What was that? No, Dave. No. Uh, Dave Knight. He oh. says I like a good out of body experience. <laughs> yeah, can be. Yeah, can be. <clears throat> can be hell of a ride sometimes, but I like it too. Our heat sink heater. Great climate. I'd have to check that out, Cliff. I'll definitely check that out. Or send me that link uh, on Instagram. I know that we... Biogas, as in compost around it to heat it, right? Mm. Something like this? 
I think so. Yeah, it seemed uh seems like a lot of work though. <laughs> well you need manure. Yeah. And we don't have animals. We don't have the animals anymore. anymore. Do you think it works with the I cannot say that what with dog poo? Oh, we don't have enough dog poo. <laughs> and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go pick up dog poo for that. No way. Ugh. Oh, no way. Happy marriage includes lots of laughs along the way. Moving from UK to Mary to Hillbilly. Here we are, 15 years, seven kids, 20 goats, 30 chickens, and four ducks later. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, seven kids. We have two, and we're like, oh my gosh, like we're done. <laughs> Nature Patch. Hi, Mallory and Ben. Glad to catch you live and super excited for your new channel plans. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Darren. Hope you have an amazing night, too. Hey, Stuart. All right, so how far? I'm at 9.32, and it's 9.30. So I'm only three minutes behind in chat, so it's not okay, that bad. we're catching up. Yeah, we're catching up. Much love, but doing this stuff right now. Big thumbs where it goes. Yeah. Anyway, Thanks, Stuart. Where does it go? The big thumb, you have to put, pick on the... I know, I know. Click on the thumbs up. My, I'm congested, man. I'm having a hard time talking tonight. We'd love to know what you're both most excited for in 2022. Oh, that's a good question. Ooh. What are you? Okay, wait a minute. Hello. <laughs> what are you most excited for in 2022? Trying to build a greenhouse, I guess. Yeah. I think I'm pretty excited for that too, actually. Um, I'm getting used to this mic. <laughs> um yeah I, I really think that's that's my big goal it's <clears throat> gonna be a lot of work but uh yeah we're gonna make it work with jama yeah and then it's yeah it's gonna be an amazing experience sun bath in the winter and then hammock and then oh my gosh yeah and then, yeah ooh. but I, I think like if we're able to get the foundation done this summer and at least have the wood logged i would be happy with that I'm not, I'm not trying to put like too much on the list, not to put too yeah. much pressure because we've been doing that in the past and putting like unrealistic goals for our years. And then, you know, we have these expectations and then they're unmet. And so yeah. we're trying not to focus so much on that. And we're just focusing on getting what we can done and living in, in all this too, because right. yeah. Fixing the spa it's pretty exciting too. Oh yeah, we've had this this uh uh this spa for what three years now, and it's it was laying in the snow for the past the first two years. Now it's in the in in the garage, and we're trying to fix it. But yeah, it's you know buying a brand new spa is like over ten thousand yeah. dollars, and so we bought we got this spa from a friend, and it was still working, but we had to change the pump on it. So that was like four hundred dollars add the cover on it yeah and then we have to change the insulation thingies and then the, there was a little water in it and then bad storage that we did and so yeah now there's a little ice in it I'm yeah like, so oh. so it ended up i think costing with like all the electric and stuff that we needed to buy too the like over two thousand dollars more those big wires are pretty expensive yeah. yeah so yeah that would be really exciting too because with all our the hard work that we put in just to go relax in the hot tub would would be so nice <laughs> so yeah that's what we're most excited for the greenhouse and the spa definitely we've been working 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 non-stop since we got here so this year we're hoping to to live a little bit more yeah see more people too like you know with covid we've been locked down with our crazy restrictions here in canada and we're just over it. <laughs> we just want to see people. Yeah. Making an elderberry tea syrup like crazy. We take an elderberry syrup every day. Yeah, that's yummy. We have some elderberry here, but we don't have that. Uh... We have the wrong kind. Yeah. The, 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 the toxic one. And what I, I need to do some research on it. Yeah. Because it's not as toxic as, as well, as I guess I read, but... Yeah, I know we don't have the right kind, and I, I haven't looked for the other kind. We might have it as well, but we, we could plan. Yeah. Hey, Russell. Hey, do you want me to share that special feature that I did for you? Congratulations on 50,000. I think it's about a minute, so I guess I can put that in here. Let me see. How can I do this? Can I do this like Fire this? Fire away. Can I do it like that? Oh, let me see. I'm going to do 
Mm, remove this. <laughs> hey, Blake. How are you? All right. So I'm going to put this uh, video file in here for oh, Russell. No. Hi guys, I'm Mallory. And I'm Ben. And we are Quebec, Quebec Homestead. Homestead. So Russell posted a video the other day and he, he had like the worst snowstorm and uh, he got stuck in the snow with his four-wheeler. Russell. Russell who? Russell, uh... Who's Russell? Wait a minute. Oh, the guy! Bisou! <laughs> yeah, that's the <laughs> one. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's the one, Raspberry Rock. Yeah. So... Oh, the one with little snow and getting stuck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. That's the one. <laughs> four-wheeler in the snow guy, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? It made you go viral, buddy. And you're about to hit 50,000 subscribers. So I'm going to send a message out to the truckers out there. Look, just give me a few minutes. I have this ice cold beer for you. I'm going to have the truckers send it to you. Send this to Russell! Thanks! Congratulations on 50K. Going on 1 million, buddy. Great job, man. All right. Peace. Can you see him? I, I don't think I can. Oh, I bet he's still stuck with his four wheeler in the snowstorm, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that was congratulations, buddy. Yeah. 50, it's amazing. 50,000. That's awesome. Yeah. How are y'all? I'm good. I'm good, Blake. How are yeah. you? <laughs> So I know Quebec is big, but how north are you? I used to live in Sutton many moons ago. I miss this now. Aww. Um, how far north are we? We're like, you know, Quebec City is, uh, is it? Quebec City is a little bit north of, uh, south from us. Yeah. Yeah. On a map, it doesn't look like that, but we're pretty north. We're still south short of the south shore of the St. Laurent stream, but, but still at almost the highest point. So. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. So we're like an hour away from Quebec City, but near more near Maine. Cuz like, right? Yeah, we're about half an hour away from Maine. Yeah, the border of Maine, yeah. That's where we are. <laughs> Thinking a squirrel's a bear. When I was a little kid, I saw footprints in the middle. I thought there was a bear prints. My brother laughed, told me there were dog prints. Yeah, right? <laughs> those, those squirrels there when you move something or deer hunting, I mean you, they always play the big animals. They do those little breaking branches, and it's as hard as a moose, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, there's little mooses everywhere in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alana Cocker, the rustic wife. Hey. Nice to meet you. That's it. I like that, the rustic wife. That's nice. That's a nice name. Yeah. <laughs> you can use compost and a lot of hay to make bio biogas heaters, cover with the black tarp, and let the sun do most of the work for you. That's some water in your gold and mirror. Um, how does that work at minus 25? Minus 30. <laughs> I don't know. I think. Can, can you keep it uh, above zero? Maybe. I think it's a good like supplement. I think people use it as a supplement. But most people in our climates use the ge geothermal systems uh, underground uh, that's that's what I've heard, and you can make some homemade geothermal as well. It's just that we we live on a rock, so there's no way we can dig through there. <laughs> we have to build our greenhouse on the rock. Maybe we could buy pickaxes and start doing this. Maybe, <laughs> and then our children can keep doing this. I'm excited for Ben's hat. I need one. <laughs> <laughs> Dollarama, buddy. Yeah. Dollarama. Sorry to dip out, but I had another job. No phones on the floor. Oh, it's okay. No worries, Will. Hey, good night, man. I always tell people, don't ever be sorry for having a life. Of course. You know? <laughs> Hot tubs are a must-have. Yes, they Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you would know. <laughs> I'm at 9.39. I'm behind a little bit. I'm like six minutes behind, so... Ben, that really cuts deep, man. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I really am, but it's it was sarcasm. Maybe too much of it. 
but you're you're a big guy that do big sarcasm too so i thought you know <laughs> ben did a better pea soup than russell <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah thank you <laughs> unfortunately i could only use about 20 seconds of that video yeah, i know that's why i was like oh i'll just share it out here <laughs> little moose that's like an oxymoron <laughs> geothermal gets expensive but i've heard it's worth it yeah evan i think there are a lot of people that actually do like a homemade geothermal which i think is really cool and like there's actually this one guy in quebec in montreal area it's a little bit warmer here they're like zone five ish so they have two full zones ahead of us and he heats his uh, greenhouse with geothermal and it's a ho homemade system it's really cool. I'd have to find, I don't remember if he has a channel and if he shows it, but I'm Facebook friends with him. So huh. <laughs> 159 subscribers. Oh, there, Blake. There you go. 159 subscribers. Good job. Me? Sarcastic? No. <laughs> just, just, just a little bit, Russell. Just a little bit. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey Dave, what's going on? Nice to see you. How are you? How's your winter camping doing? How's your season doing this far? By the picture, I guess it's it's cold there too. Yeah, he's in the Northwest Territories. Oh, wait, are you in the Northwest Territories? Anyways, he's all the way up there and he does a winter hot tent camping. He does like con seasonal uh, content. So if you go on his channel, he like literally just is in his hot, hot tent and he chops wood and he heats i showed you his channel yeah 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 you did yeah him and his wife they, they do that and so yeah it's really cool we're gonna be building a quincy this week yeah so and a big one i did a really big one a family size quincy so i'm really excited about that <laughs> uh, i think i think i actually maybe have a clip of the, of the mountain hey, I, i've heard there is a uh, some bad influence in here somewhere i offered my wife that we could take a, a cognac shot tonight and she said oh well i don't know i don't like cognac that much. i don't like cognac oh i don't know i'm oh oh Ooh. but then but then i know some of you can motivate her sometimes so maybe when i when i have those big beers <laughs> And I and at the end of that big beer, it's either I continue the live stream and I delete the live stream <laughs> because I, I just uh, 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 I have a hard time talking, or or I drink if just and or I'm reasonable, right? So so the live streams that I'm unreasonable, I have to delete them. But I like I think I like this live stream so far and how it's going. So I would like to not have to delete it, <laughs> you know. I know. <clears throat> Oh. I just like to add a little pressure there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how expensive propane is there, but we do a propane low-profile catalytic heater. It actually fits a panel in the mm. greenhouse wall, and the tank is outside. Where are you, Greenwich Homestead? I, I, did you say that you were... Where are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure where and you that are. That picture is catching my eyes so much. Yeah. And the name. Mm -hmm. I love you already. <laughs> it is a cool name. Yeah. So I, today I was I was going over some ideas on how to diversify my content a little bit. And I was thinking of maybe starting to have guests back on, but during the day. Like I'd have a day where I do a podcast maybe. Just maybe like once a month, I think. That would be like reasonable with like the big production that we have for the 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 new set that we're making but we we're thinking of well i was thinking that maybe i could do this during the day uh once in a while yeah like once a month and have a special guest and so i was wondering if uh that could interest you guys maybe like have uh homestead content uh you know ask uh, like real good questions maybe i don't know maybe i could ask some funny questions too have like little challenges in the podcast I, I, my creativity is really overflowing right now. This time of the year is usually the time where everything just flows. And I love to create content because I'm not in the gardens and, you know, I'm, I, I just have all this, 
all this stuff in my brain. So I don't know. You guys let me know if that could be something that could interest you guys. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are re-watching this because I do have amazing, loyal subscribers that come back and rewatch all yeah. these live streams. So thank you guys for that that are coming on the rewatch. And we're 15 minutes in and I'm and I'm thinking you guys way too late, but <laughs> Uh, seriously, the community here is amazing and I feel the love and it's great. Uh, we Hi, were Cecilia. We were talking um, before the live what what she could do when there is something happening like Super Chat or something. Should, should she sing something or dance or I don't know. I know we're trying to figure out some ideas because I mean like I just got a really cool big Super Chat from from Cliff, a hundred dollars. Yeah, and I'm like, what can I do? Yeah, we should celebrate. But if you guys have ideas, it yeah, would be nice. Because I know some sometimes people give like two dollars, some people give five dollars, but I still want to like include something. Like yeah. maybe I could have like a cue music, or I don't know, I don't know. I I, I still need to think about that because we do want to improve this stream of with with time, and you know, yeah, I really want to improve the stream. In all honesty, it was a great video, Mal and Ben, and I didn't give you much time to do it, but I knew I could count on you to do something creative and funny. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Whenever you ask, man. I'll be asking the same thing from you, Russell. Yeah. <laughs> In our new segment. <laughs> it knows how to shotgun. Not sure about cognac, though. Oh, right, Mark? Ah, oh, cognac. Oh, well, it's a classic, and it, it has that that little something that cranks you up more than other alcohol. <laughs> well, my favorite shot, David, is actually vodka with a lime dipped in sugar. That is my go-to shot. I love, love, love those. So it, instead of having like, it's, it sort of looks like a tequila shot because you know tequila is with the with the lemon, but I take a vodka and I dip a nice quarter of lime in sugar. And so I take the shot and I eat mm, it. Favorite shot. I think I think it would be Grand Marnier. Oh. <laughs> it's good. It's oh, very good. Shooter of Grand Marnier. Oh, nah. Nah. It, oh, you're it's in Missouri. better in a flask, but a shot is okay too. Okay. So Greenwich at Homestead is in Missouri. Oh. I mean, let's write down the, the channel so we can go check it out. Let's go check it out. Missouri. You know, and like, there's a whole bunch of ideas that I have for the stream because I do have a lot of uh, really cool channels. So I could do like a, I don't know, once once in my live stream, I could do like, a, if you know, if you want me to go check out your channel, we could do like a spin the wheel. And on one of my live streams, I could go check out your channel and tell you what I think about it yeah. type of thing. And I thought that would be really, like, I really, I really want to get into shout outs uh, a lot more. Uh, because I think a lot of channels, uh, you know, the algorithm, it's really hard to be found when you're when you're smaller. And I got really lucky with my with some of my videos and I got discovered uh, with, you know, my cattle panel video with my carrot seeding method, which, by the way, that video, I've been getting comments all from all over the world, people yeah. that have tried it and they succeeded with the method and they're like, I'm going to do this next year. And I just I just like was wow. Isn't that cool, Ron? It's amazing. I love I love to to hear all the uh, all the feedback. You know, I grew up in Hamilton. Okay, hot cognac will help with your cold Mallory, but it's disgusting, right? I oh, know, yeah. Kevin. <laughs> oh, hot cognac. No, okay. Yeah. For my cold, I will probably use uh, some boiling water, some gin, and some honey. A pound of gin. Yeah, that would probably be like my go-to for my for my sore throat. But I think it sort of got worse just now though, because I was fine all day. But I think I'm just really it, tired. It sort of got worse now. <laughs> I'm really tired. I went to see a, a communication coach today to work better on my communication. And so I'm working on myself this year. That's something I'm really excited about too. Yeah, I'm not going into therapy. No. I have severe PTSD and I did lots and lots and lots of brain digging shit. Poop. <laughs> 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 I have a hard time. It's my French, you know. 
<laughs> How are your DYI coming along? DYI? What's that? Cecilia, I don't understand. Rewrite it. I don't know. I don't know that abbreviation. Uh, you need to have garlic salt free cold. Yeah, oh, probably. Yeah. yeah, that would be good too. <laughs> the garlic is a medicine by itself. Tony, oh. let it all out. Stick to what you're good at, David Adams. <laughs> oh, hey, Jess, what's going on? Hey. We need to meet up for to see those the stories. We need to see that narrative telephone. I I have to I have to see these stories. <laughs> I've got so much news to share. So much, I think. Oh, <laughs> oh! I could do a trial version for the super chats. <laughs> trial version. What's that? Oh, I'm gonna have to show you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you. <laughs> One time, Jesse was uh, on. That's picking my curiosity now. Okay, so Jesse from Rain Dance Bushcraft was. I was on his channel one night, and somebody was trying to hop on the panel with us to talk. And I don't know, there was something wrong with his microphone or his system. And it kept on saying trial version, like over oh, yeah. and over and <laughs> over again. I remember that, yeah. And so I left the screen and the guy had fixed his thing or he was he was gone. And I, and I shut off my camera, but my mic stayed on. So I came back and I just left a trial version. <laughs> but my voice is really shot right now. But it was perfect. <laughs> so that was like the running gag. Ooh, yeah, Jägermeister's good. I know oh, Cliff yeah. likes Jägermeister, too. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of herbs, <laughs> different kind of, it's a kind of weird recipe, Jägermeister. <laughs> Jägermeister. <laughs> uh, Master Vanilla is in the Philippines. I have, like, some really cool people from the Philippines watching and lots of people from India. Mm, I lost a good friend that was from there. Really? At war, yeah. Oh, well, afterwards, true. yeah, Manu. Yeah, that's true. He was Filipino. Yeah. All right. I'm the last pour. Last pour. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I do love my Guinness. Hey, Paul André Nassau. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Been a while. Oh, you got my Amazon affiliates. Thank you, Harvey. You're such an amazing, amazing moderator. So yeah, if you guys want to go check out my Amazon shop and stuff, we do have a shop and links so that you can support our channel that way at no cost to you. <laughs> Try hot toddies for your cold. Hot toddies. I've, oh yeah, I've heard of, I think. What's that? Um, I'm going to write that down because my uh, friend, uh, well, Kaylee from the Honeystead, I would talk, I talked to her when I was uh, closing up the bees. And she's like, oh, I got a cold. I'm, I'm drinking some hot toddies. So I'm going to write that down. Hot toddies. Hot toddies. Yeah, I have to figure out what that is because it really uh, was, <laughs> I was really curious. Hot toddies, not Teddies. Not titties. No, not, not, not hot titties. Not like in the bachelor party stuff. No. Okay. You see where his mind goes? I guess it could be good for the cold too. <laughs> I don't know where you are. What? <gasps> oh, Siri. <laughs> good shot, Siri. <laughs> I don't know where you are. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> My Siri answers back to us. It's so weird. I'm going to write through. Okay. Yeah, so I have to go check out Green Witch Homestead. <laughs> Greenwich, did you find me on the small homesteaders group or did you find me out of nowhere? I'm curious now. Glenda Levy, hi guys. Is Ben going to play Mr. Wob? Oh yeah. Who's so Mr. Wob? So Glenda uh, Glenda said instead of saying wise ass Ben, you could be Mr. Wob. It's just a suggestion. Oh, I don't know who Mr. Wob is. Wise ass Ben. Ben, W W A B. I feel dumb. <laughs> I it, well, right now it's gonna become Mr. Wob. Yeah, you like that? I do like that. Yeah, Mr. Wob, and we could have it like on on screen, and it'd be like more censored. What? What are you saying? <clears throat> are you like that, Mr. Wob? Oh, I'm dumb as shit. Uh, Shh, oh, dude. stop saying that. Oh, why do I keep saying this? He swears a lot. I mean, I mean, I'm. <laughs> I'm, I used to be an army guy. Swearing is one word out of two. 
<laughs> Can't help it. Herbalist advice. Drape your face over hot salt water to steam. Slice a white onion in half and set it to to set it by your bedside and gargles. I've heard about that trick. I've never tried it. My mom used to rub an onion on on our chest and yeah. under our feet, which is disgusting, but I guess I guess it worked. That's like Vicks, right? I used to I, I rubbed that under my feet too. <laughs> But yeah, thank you, Glenda. I think I think Mr. Mr. Wob, Mr. Wob is really yeah, Mr. good. Mr. Wob is good. And we haven't we haven't filmed that segment yet, so because we do have to, uh, yeah, finish a whole bunch. It's it turned out turns out he's realizing that filming and producing the videos is a lot more work than he thought. So I think I'm, I'm I lost um, doing intellectual work, and when I do that stuff, I get moody and stuff it's getting me tired a lot it's hard stuff yeah it is and he is very intellectual like very like at the point where at the end of the night if he's not stimulated he will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk i, I will bore to sleep yeah like literally like i'll be like okay i can i cannot take it anymore like i i have to take a break from and, and do something else did you know that do you know that? Oh my gosh. I've heard that. <laughs> Random facts all day, all night. Yeah, so I, I love those fun facts. Yesterday when we got done filming the, the Ben's Corner, well, the, the little parts of the Ben's Corner, uh, he was so tired and I was like, oh my gosh, did we did we tire him out? <laughs> yeah, I, we did film for like four hours. Or <clears throat> well, and we I, did the script and then we filmed. And then I had to act. And be good and nice. Yeah. And fun. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me tired. <laughs> Hot toddy is honey, whiskey, and lemon juice. I would like that. Yeah. I would like that. I love the honey, said Mallory. So glad you told me about them. Wash hands. Oh. Oh, is that the emoji? My dad did that the other day. My dad is like, oh, I don't know why it said wash hands. Yeah. Uh, I, I meant I meant to to put the the clappy hands. <laughs> wash hands. Oh my gosh, it's so well, funny when that does. Washing that. hands is it's a good way to get rid of the cold too. Very true. <laughs> I love those hot toddies. Yeah. Oh, T Hand One Forty One Homestead. Hi everyone. Hello, hey. another off grader. Awesome. Cool. I found you because the carrot seed video then on the homestead site. Oh, right. Cool. <laughs> a lot of people found yeah. me through that video. I'm really glad. And a, a lot of really cool subscribers found me through that video. So that's that's nice. You know, sometimes when you get a, a viral video, it, you'll get like a whole bunch of people that are like, oh, I want to see more. Subscribe. But they don't hit the bell or they don't. Because when you subscribe, if you want to see the channels that pop up, you have to hit the little notification bell. But sometimes they'll just click subs subscribe and they won't come back for months. So I'll post videos and I'll continuously post them, but they don't come back. And so that's that's a little bit harder for the algorithm. So when I do post the Ben's Corner, though, I'm going to announce it ahead of time. And if you guys could come watch it in the first 24 hours, that would help us out enormously and do the big thumbs up. That would help. Amazingly. So the algorithm really loves it when you watch videos, when your audience watches videos in the first 24 hours. And uh, yeah, so that's that's what I'm going to try to get better at. And, you know, explaining you guys how it works, how you guys can help me out yeah. where it doesn't cost you anything, but it's the best way that you can help us out. <laughs> ben, watch your French. <laughs> I know. And I'm trying to watch it. Sometimes it can get really worse but i i don't see how what you do in the toilet is gonna take you out from being monetized i mean it's only digests and and and, and you know i know i know I, usually i'm way worse they shoot 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 you used to shooting say shoot <laughs> Then i came from a family of marines sometimes i don't even know when i'm cursing oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, I cannot say the word, but you can use this with everything as a, yeah, it's a cool sauce to add. Heading back to work, stay safe all. All right, Dave. All right, bye-bye. Stay warm. Stay warm, <laughs> buddy. Mr. Wob means wise and bright. Ooh. 
That's Ooh. good one day. That is good. Yeah. Wise and bright. But he's he's a wise ass though. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's worse. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, the word I say come from the word you say, so. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're, we're not good at this tonight. No. Oh. Mr. Wild, I like that so much. Yeah, let's mm. write it down just, yeah. just so that you remember it. I guess I will remember it, but. I can't wait to get into character. Oh my gosh. Mr. Wab. Mr. Wab. Well, a whole bunch of things came up to my mind that are inappropriate, but uh, I'm going to keep that here. <laughs> and you say I'm the one that's twisted. <clears throat> We're both twisted. We're both twisted people. So, yeah. I guess, I guess so. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to being twisted, I guess. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're, you're gonna see you're gonna see our personalities come through a lot more, especially when we're together. Yeah, you're definitely gonna see some things. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, watch a video, and comment. Or YouTube will not count your sub watch. Support Man. the good channels on preparedness, homestead, outdoors, off grid, bushcraft, survival, y'all. Yeah. How good is that? I know Harvey's amazing. He's a great moderator. Yeah, he's disciplined and he's always on the spot at the right time. Yeah, that's what moderators are for. And I, I used to moderate for a lot of channels, but I just I just cannot like I had to choose do I do I stay a viewer or am I a creator? And I chose to be a creator because I wanna I wanna do something with this. I wanna share and I wanna I wanna take advantage, you know, while I can of this uh, youtube platform so definitely <laughs> your nose is getting red me yeah it's not from alcohol but it's it's still funny though i guess you're cold a little i'm not cold at all actually I'm, no I'm, you I'm have hot. a cold oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yes i have a cold you are both perfectly wonderful people. Good vibes. Aw, oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Thank, thank you. you, Dale. You're sweet. <laughs> I just had almost 100 subs purged from my account. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Greenwich. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to do this on this stream. I'm going to go check you out purge right now. What does that mean? It means uh, YouTube uh, purges out subscribers when, like, they don't come back and watch. Or sometimes they're bots or they're fake accounts. And... I mean, YouTube. You really? do. Sometimes you do. You do stuff I don't like. And it teach you some manners. <laughs> Green witch homestead. Okay, so let's go subscribe. I know her. I know her. I just wasn't sure who was behind the screen here. So fermented February. No wait. I'm gonna share the screen. Oh my god. So the shout out of the night. <laughs> it's very interesting. How can I do this Chrome tab? What can I do this? Can we be friends? Yeah, of course we can. Why be can't we be friends? Okay, so Why can't we I'm gonna just friends? I'm just gonna do something sketchy here. All right, so yeah, we can see it here. All right, Green Witch Homestead. Yes, I I know her. I'm actually friends with her. Yeah, so fermented February. She's got a whole bunch of videos. Making bacon, Victory Garden. Let's That's see, cool. make this bigger. Oh here. my God, lard. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that's you went cool. out to Roots and Refuge. Comfrey. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna go see the Beltane. You're you're the real deal when Beltane. you say Greenwich, yeah. Yeah. All right. I like that a lot. Awesome. I don't know if many people know what Beltane is, but so Greenwich Homestead. Let's cool. go to her about section. Yeah. Hello world, my name is Kimberly. I hope you join me here in the heart of Missouri as I work to revamp a closed school property into a thriving productive homestead let me guide you through old ways but with a modern twist learn with me as i explore small small livestock farming with ducks rabbits quail and chickens as well as heritage breed pigs grow with me as i expand my veggie patch into a market garden learn how to grow forage and harvest your own food and medicine let me share with you how to store cure and ferment food for better health benefits and longer no power storage take a walk with me a green witch herbalist as i share skills and knowledge for identifying harvesting cultivating and rendering mother earth's bounty into nature 
nat natural food and medicine. That is great. It is. She's got a TikTok and an Instagram. She doesn't have a Facebook. You should put a PayPal link in here. And um, maybe, mm, what else could you add in here? Definitely a PayPal link. That's a really good one to put in there. Oh, that's her, her channel subscriptions, community posts. She's got a few playlists in here. Homesteading 101. Wild foraging. Wild oh, foraging. I like that. Three videos in that one. All right. Homestead walks. Awesome, Kimberly. Yeah, I remember you. I, I, I remember chatting with you on Facebook. <laughs> oh, uh, right on. So this is, I guess, my weekly shout out before we head out for the night. <laughs> I'm going to quit sharing the screen here. All right. What did I miss in the chat? What did I miss in the chat? <laughs> I just subscribed to Green, which looks like a great channel. Awesome. Thank you, John. Sorry, this wrench is a bit distracted with the snow. <laughs> I mean, no worries, Cliff. No worries. There is Green Witch. There you go. Awesome. Cool. I Thank do you, Arm. I do have a clip as well of, with uh, the horses. If you guys want to see my ride, I did share it on my French channel, but um, I can share a little clip of it here. But if you guys want to go to my French channel, I did a full ride uh, video uh, with uh, with Copper. So. Hey, that, that, that Quincy, you need to put that on your French channel, those European people. Oh, are yes, like that. I know, I do. Thank you for being creators. Love your channel so much. You're so welcome, John. Darlene Bowman, you guys, you make my night. I'm Canadian too. Awesome. Great. Where are you from, Darlene? I'm a far farmer. I need a lot of friends. Don't we all? Yeah. Don't we all need friends? <laughs> I'm a creative too, but really boring. I'm a lawyer and it's law information. Oh, well, you know, if it's, I need it. It's it's so important though, because not many people know really what their rights are and what the laws around everything is. So yeah, the, those are amazing tips, real life useful tips. Let me give you a creator tip. If you're a creator, put a photo on your on your this right here put a photo on your on your account and and build up your page and put a you know do some searches on how to personalize your channel uh so that you can make it presentable you know if you want to do something with it that would be like the first start because first impressions are very important hey william Beltier. Come on, Sama. William, uh, he uh, was one of the teenagers that came to work on my farm when I did the teen market garden. Man, this is the one that I bonded with the most. Yeah. Yeah, we've been together for a little while working on the wall. Thank yeah. you for that, man. Yeah, he said, Merci. I don't think he understands English, for example. Yeah. Merci pour la job que tu as fait avec moi sur le mur. C'était avec toi que je m'entendais le mieux. Good job, man. There you go. You're very welcome, Greenwich. Kimberly. Kimberly, I'm going to try to remember that. True, Ben, thank you. You're welcome, man. <laughs> Mal needs to eat a hot pepper that will clear those sinuses. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Do, do not make me eat one of those that Mark ate because I do not want to. <laughs> oh maybe, maybe we have something spicy enough. No, well, we have jalapenos that are like our jalapenos were like way spicier than any jalapeno that, that I have ever. That could be a good idea. Yeah. If... if if something happened, you could eat a jalapeno. Yeah, maybe. I mean, neighbor from Ontario. All right, darling, awesome. Cool. Oh, you're very welcome. Hey, so do you guys want to see a little clip of my horse ride that I had with Copper? I'll show you this real quick. I'm going to um, rest my back a little. Check back in comments from this live stream later. I'm sending a link to the best gardening video. Uh, back to Eden. Oh, you know what, Glenda? I love Back to Eden. I I, I just absolutely love uh, Paul Gauchi. He's the inspiration uh, to a lot of the stuff that I do in my garden. All right. So I'm going to share a little clip here. Share video file. All right. So I'm going to actually start this a little bit later. You can see like I'm saddling up. And I'm going into the 
for us. I don't want to. Yeah, the horse kisses. So you guys can see this on my French channel if you guys want to go see. But I'm going to start it here and I won't probably, I probably won't go all the way to the end, but I'll just show you a little bit. Oh, you don't want to do So she was saying this isn't that place where we were wasn't really a place where it was the um, government the snow machine trail, but this one is. So we have to share the the alley. But some some snowmobilists are not really respectful with horses; they won't slow down. Those guys, they go, oh, I... they go way too fast most of the time. Yeah. And then sometimes they're a little drunk because they're a little drunk. That's so true. That's so true. That went way up. That was so steep. There are a few branches and trees down, so sometimes I have to stop and. <laughs> And the horses were so excited. They just wanted to run. And it was awesome. This is that beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back on Saturday. That was on our way back. It was so windy and glacial. Oh my gosh. It was so cool. I had my full face. I had my goggles, my ski goggles, and my full face covered. And the girl who was with the GoPro on, she was so cold in that field. She didn't have her full face covered and her eyes. Oh my gosh. It was, it was, uh, it was hard for her. <laughs> oh, bless you. Sorry. <laughs> My seven-year-old daughter would love those horses. She's a natural horse. Aw. Yes, it is so liberating. It really is. Ben wants, actually wants to start horseback riding. It's um, it's a 2022 project of mine. Yeah. I almost said it in the most exciting stuff I will do. But, you know, there's too many exciting stuff to talk about. Yeah, he... <laughs> He announced to me that he would love to try rodeo one day. Why would you talk about that? For, it's, it's, it's on your bucket list. It, it is, but I, I like to talk about crazy stuff I do after I do that. Oh, okay. Shh, forget I said this. I may delete this live stream. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, not, it's not even a good idea because I'm a, a broken man. But He's an adrenaline junkie. <sighs> <laughs> uh we don't do maple trees yet we do have a lot of maple trees oh, but there's a lot of cleaning up to do we, we almost have two thousand uh maple trees that we could tap that are big enough yeah so yeah it is a sugar camp is in my plan but i you know it it will be in, i don't know how many years but it will yeah. be yeah we i we really i would love to be able to focus because men has been really supportive on my gardens on you know, all the things that I've wanted, the horses and stuff. So I would really like to shift onto his priority list. What? I really would. Oh. And and I'm gonna take you as your words. Yeah. And so he does want to build a sugar bush, a sugar camp. And he's been talking about it for years. But then we do have the greenhouse that is in common. Yeah. Which we have all this interior garden of all these plants that need a home. So I mean I just 
I just want to help you get things done more. <laughs> That's why we close up the gardens. It's okay. We have time. Yeah. And then we have like a whole bunch of people that want to come help this summer too. So that, that'll be nice. And now that I not a savage anymore, I'm going to like people. Yeah. Coming over. <laughs> True. <laughs> That's a long story for another time. Uh, have you heard of Kachimavik? I did, I did. Yes. Is that is that is that still a thing? I, 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 okay. Yeah. Back in two thousand. Yeah, but there's a workaways. There's um, what is it called? The other one. Uh, Woofer. Woofers. There's Woofers Association and a whole bunch. Bunch. Oh, good night, David Evans. Yeah, we're gonna head out too. We've been on yeah. here for an hour and twenty minutes. Uh, you guys have been uh, almost like 20, 28 to thirty people the whole time here. So thank you guys so much for being here. And I, I'm, I'm I'm close to leaving because <clears throat> I've been changing position and that chair is killing my back. Yeah, we need to get him a new chair. So definitely get him a new chair for these live streams so that he can be better. And yeah, oh, poor little me, cry me a river. Well, we got it. We got to get matching chairs for the news yeah. for the news set. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. Thank you, Harvey, for sharing those links out. And Peanut Trucker, have a great night. Glenda Fox, I would love to come. Uh... Jesse, keep me posted. Green Witch, Miano Acres, uh, Darlene, Dar Darlene, William. Thank you guys so much for coming, and uh, we will keep you posted on the Ben's Corner as soon as we get it filmed. I'm going to post it on my community page, so you guys can go reference my communi community page once in a while. I do post things on there regularly, and uh, if you don't go on there, you, you won't show up in your feed, so you have to go to my communi community page to see it. Uh, so, yeah. You're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, great you witch. Kiss thank me, you. Right? Yeah, I do. I always <laughs> want to kiss you. Uh, thank you so much, Kimberly, for that super secret. No, That's thank great. You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys. Bye bye. Have a great night. Till next time.